Luke, Tom, and Nate here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and today we're going caving down there. Oh, hop in the car, hop in the car. I'm starving. Why? Guys, I think the campground's closed. Yeah, let's, well, yeah, let's go do a plan B. Dad's Dad's got a plan B. Plus, if we're investing it, so that... <laughs> All right, guys, uh, shall we do a camp out here at the house? Yeah. You gonna hang out with us? Yeah. In there, so it doesn't hurt the glass. A little cut on the end. Okay. But you don't want the butter to be browning. Okay, match it up nicely. See, you look how it's kind of browner on one side. Yeah. So you rotate it first. Now see, check, check, check them like this. Check them. Are they they melty inside? Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. Then. SpongeBob. Who's got the knife? Okay. I think it. Why don't you go over there and you cut them? You cut them how you like them. Is this uh, is this one of the more hardcore cannibals we've ever done? Um. You guys ready to learn how to make cobbler? Yeah. And we got a Dutch oven there. Okay. Oh, You're, uh, nice. Yeah. Okay guys, this is sugar, okay? And we're gonna go like this. Pour some sugar, sugar on me. Okay, then we got some yellow cake mix. Now, Tom, try to spread it evenly across the top. Looks like a wet fill, lemon. Fill up all the guys, now you need a bottle of soda pop, and I have melon flavored ramen. If you don't want exotic Japanese sodas, Sprite or 7-Up works well. Then take a thing and go. Ah, oh my face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Who wants to drink the last little bit? Me! 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 me. Share with your brothers. Dollop, dollops of butter. Like Squidward. Now, we just seal it up and put it in the oven. Okay. <laughs> 7.30, so at 8.31, we're, pull, we're gonna eat cobbler. Should we go build our shelter? Yeah! All right, let's do it. Okay, oh. grab your sleeping bag and un fluff up your sleeping bag, okay? Yeah. Got our lantern. Okay. Do you guys want to roast marshmallows? Yeah! Mom, you want part of this action? I do. I want to yeah. eat mine. Wow. I have a torch. It looks like a meteor. I'm probably just going to have it. All right, Mom. Is that good? It's great. There you go. Oh Guys, guess what time it is? Nine. Cobbler time! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, everybody, oh, cobbler! Yeah. Take a peek at it. Oh, what do you think of that, Tom? Does that look good? Delicious. See it? Oh, put your plate closer. Oh, yeah. I haven't had cobbler in a long time. Here, watch out. You want more gooey stuff? Yes. Ice, baby. Ice. It's the best cobbler I've ever had. It's you like so that? It's pretty good. Yeah. It's actually cuddle than it looks. Should we go downstairs and continue yeah. our camp out? All right, Mama, yeah. you want to join us? Yeah, go faster. Yeah, get into your bed. All right, Jake, you're, is this your bed here? <laughs> is that perfect? All right, guys, you ready to? You guys ready to watch some Star Trek with Dad, and Mom? All right. Well, listen, did you guys like Star Trek? You like that? All right, it's late, guys. We're going to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Oh. I got up in the middle of the night, used the bathroom, and I came down the stairs, and I stepped on that alligator head on the <laughs> stairs and fell down the stairs. <laughs> I didn't wake any of you up. For breakfast, I'm making the boys a classic World War II soldier breakfast. Poo on a shingle. It's a tuning glow. It looks like diarrhea. That's why it's poo on a shingle. <laughs> Some bread. 
Well, there we go. We made ourselves a nice little white gravy. It's pretty easy to do. It's a can of Spam, a third a cup of flour, one to one evaporated milk to water. Add some salt, add some pepper. If you want to make biscuits and gravy, it's basically the same gravy. Well, that's the that's the thickness you want. Mom, can you? Is it tasty? Then we that apparently had his goggles shut. There's some poo on your shingle. Hold me your plate, close. Ah. You got poo on a shingle. This is a World War II soldier breakfast. Here, no hat to the table. Mm, I like poop. I like the poop. Yeah, and I also like the shingle. It's just like I mean, pizza. What? You like it? You like it, Becca? Plain toast. It's good. Well, the camping element of this video didn't quite go as planned, but we still got a whole bunch of caving to do. So we're gonna get the boys dressed, get them in the car, and we're going caving. All right, guys, we're here. Doing well, hey. Slimmed a trip down a little bit. I did, I lost, I lost a little weight. No, I, I, <laughs> All right, guys, we're here with Lester Sook. This is actually my fourth trip with him, and we've just had a ball every time. So long pants, long sleeves. Um, I'm gonna get my coveralls on in a minute because you're gonna get muddy today. All right, here's two headlamps. Those are all charged up. It is so windy and cold out here, but it's always the same temperature in caves. No matter how hot or cold it gets, makes caving a great wintertime activity. Shoulder that's got some of your dad's equipment in it. You guys each have a headlamp. A double means gather. Multiple lights, whistles, keep it slow. Making sense? The food's even coming. Look at this, guys. We couldn't even. Yeah, it gets Just a little slippery. It. Yeah, take it nice and slow. All right, I'm right behind you. Yeah, that's small. I'm doing the butt scoop boogie. Oh, you're right. This is warm. <laughs> Isn't it nice in here? Is that pie right over there? So the sparkly stuff, actually what you're often seeing is water drops. Oh, what you guys? Oh, look at that. That's yeah, like that's, like that's like fungus with water on it. Oh, look at the wooly poly, high wooly poly. <laughs> oh, it's so sparkly. It's so sparkly. Yeah, it's so sparkly in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's oh. wet. Oh. Hey, yeah. sure glad we slimmed down a little bit there, Luke. Woo. So now we're gonna get to do total darkness. So stay stable and let's kill all of our lights. All right, here goes the last one. Oh my. All right, let's bring a few lights up. Oh. <laughs> and let's just talk a little bit about navigating. So north matches north. All right, I'm gonna lead the next little bit. We're gonna head this way. We get lost in the cave. All right, are we doing okay so far? Yeah. yeah. It looks like things are gonna get tight. This is called the commando crawl. And uh, would one of you two boys like to lead this? I will. I will. You're gonna go down, 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 and you're gonna keep turning to your right. Keep turning which way? Oh, what? Why? <laughs> oh, I remember doing this. I don't remember loving it. It's even tighter. Oh my gosh. I'm a little nervous now. Oh. Now that I think about it. Oh boy. Oh, I'm glad I lost that weight. Oh, I you thought, guys are so little. I thought this was going to... Come on, Tom. Yeah! Okay, Nathan. I farted. It. Go for it. Yeah, I farted. No, it didn't. Oh, and all the bats are going to die now. Oh. Oh, I can taste it in here, Tom. Cave gas. The canary's dying back here. Uh, all right. Uh, you uh, uh, So I'm going to take you to another little room over here that's kind of cool. You belly crawl in, and then when you get in the room, you can actually stand up and look around. So let's head this way. You can leave the... So, um, Shall we let Nate lead this one? Yeah. Okay, so Nate, come here. You're gonna crawl in here to the right. The room called the dungeon is back in here. And then when it's time to come out, you're gonna crawl out that passage right there and I will have my red light shining so you know where to come out. Make sense? Oh, <laughs> oh. I can do this. Oh, 
Alrighty. Oh, oh, let's take a look at here. Oh, look at those cool formations in there, guys. Uh. Look at all those stalactites on the ceiling. That's cool. That stalagmite on the floor. Head over to Lester, okay? You see the red light? See the red light? Hold. That's a tight squeeze. Can you do it? Yes, I can. Let me see how muddy you are. Oh. Okay, so some people call this the post office because when you're back in the room, you can look out the window, we will see your light through the window. All right, second. you may go. Go belly down, belly down. Oh, look at that. There's the window. Okay. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I see you. There it is. Here, come there see you if you can stick you your face in. Oh. Hey! <laughs> I do. Hey, well done. What do you think this loop is here? Just oh, that? 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 Alright, we're gonna head this way. I will leave, and here we go. This cave's really muddy. We're getting all covered in mud. But I figured the mud's a good thing. I need all the grease I can get. Ooh, I, I don't want to slip down there. No, you don't. That's a nasty business. You, Nate, me? you can follow me. You just decide. You want to go down that deep, dark hole? Yes. All right. Oh, yeah, but she's coming toward me. Oh. And we're getting so muddy, I can grab on. Tell me. You can see where a big stalactite broke off and a small soda straw is forming. We call this an active ceiling. This is an inactive ceiling. So follow me. So gross. You're so gross. No, you are. I'm scared of you falling back in the heat. Oh. Are you going to go right or left? Here we go. Oh, I'm just pushing my foot. Oh, you, are, you are the NAF team. That is what you guys are. You know, it, should be, it should be a junction to turn. <laughs> the corner. I know. A right or a left? Right. I said, I said right over there. Right, Tom was right. You go right. Oh. But a cave is only a cave if it has three things true about it. So what must be true for a whole Complete darkness? Complete darkness is one. Not man, not man made. Must be naturally formed, that's number naturally two. Formed. Big enough for a person to get inside. Big enough for a human. Yeah. Excellent, 10 points to Gryffindor. So here, you can go either way, right? So some, Thomas, you can put that map in your hoodie pocket if you need your hands for stuff. And I'm just moving forward, yep. Big right. tall is awesome. We go to the right. At this point, my hand. Now the question is, do we go to the right or to the left? Left. I think Correct. left. Correct. Left. Woo! That's the woodland. Um, black. So, we'll have to go to everybody. Now, first of all, we have to give you guys a... Go oh, nice and slow. Oh, that's the way up, I think. Here's a bigger bridge. Oh. oh. I just used that dog. I just want to slide. Big step down to the shelf. Gotcha. And it's your turn. Down there. And then one more step to me. Whoa. Oh. You guys aren't throwing rocks up there, are you? Right here at the edge. There you go. Now lean yeah. back. Six more inches. Big step. Yeah, there it is. Right foot in the edge, and now long step down with the left. Excellent. Woo! How deep underground are we? So this cave does not actually go deeper, deeper, deeper. It stays, like here's the ground surface. It stays pretty close to the surface. Maybe like 20, 30 feet or something? Something maybe? like that, yeah. Yeah, Tom, what's your question? Well, we're going to go this way next. Oh, 
Oh, Put your right foot on the foot shelf. Moved. Yeah. And stand up and pull. Oh. There you go. See how that works? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Man down. All right. All right, see this? Oh my, yeah, is that it? And How long is it going? Hey. Whoa. <laughs> uh, no, uh, what the? <laughs> what? We gotta do that. Crazy. All right, so uh, Luke, get yourself stabilized. Someday. Oh, there's two Move ways. Forward until you stand up, and then when you stand up, Which stop way? and wait for your Which dad. Way? Alright, you can follow. Forever. Uh, uh, I can see sunlight. Uh, Commando crawl, you did the dungeon, you navigated. You guys made it! We survived! Show me your film! Yeah! Did you I think you got muddy, Tom? Oh, you are disgusting. But cute. I'll tell you what guys, if you don't like being out in the cold, nasty weather, caving's awesome. It's always the same temperature, it never rains, never has wind. It's a great way to beat the winter blues. And I'll tell you what guys, there's a reason why I've been with Lester four times. The guy just does a great job. He's wonderful with kids and youth groups, and it's really, really affordable. Check it out, there's a persimmon tree right here. The persimmons last longer than a lot of other fruits. So they're a good early winter fruit. Uh, take your time. Mm. Get in there. Not up yet. There you go. Rob, Rob, Rob. Rob, Rob aggressively. Rob. Thank you, Lester. It's good time as always. Don't hit any cows. I won't. If you guys want to do this too, I highly recommend Lester's guide service. It's Wild Guide Adventures. I'll put a link in the video description below. <laughs> well listen, I've got to go put some kids into a bathtub. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos, if you want to see more videos like this from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. They're so loud. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.